Hey, good morning, everybody. I guess it's pillow talk today because this is just to let you guys know that how important an emergency fund is to have because nobody expects to wake up one day and have their tooth feel like it's been hammered with a nail or just pounded into oblivion with a jackhammer. This tooth in the back of my face is the worst. Um, but I have an emergency fund. I do have health insurance and cats. Um, and this is the shows the importance of having some money saved in an emergency fund. So if you don't have an emergency fund, Today is a good day to start one. Always have something available when you need it. You never know when you're going to come across a situation where money is needed. Um, I have, let's see, I do have an emergency fund. I also have my primary checking account, I have a secondary checking account, and I have a tertiary checking account. You should always have more than one account. Keep your money moving. Um, also, it doesn't, and it's not like all these accounts got millions of dollars in them. One of my checking accounts don't even have anything in it, but it's good to have because I'm going to move money around when I get the money. Um, I have savings accounts. I have a lot of accounts. You always have to have more than one account. Now, when you first start out, it's good to have money somewhere. Maybe if you put it in um, like a safety deposit box or you could just keep it in your house and put it in a safe, a safe place in your house. But there's always the best idea to have some sort of emergency fund available because this tooth right now is doing a jig and that is something you definitely do not want to happen and you don't have the funds because that will wipe you out so if you don't have an emergency fund started start one today um, I also wanted to show you guys one other thing before I leave um, hold on, because I have something new coming to my Etsy shop, and I wanted you guys to see it. So hold on one second. So, I am working on my 12 Days of Christmas Savings Challenge, and this will be available soon in my Etsy shop. What happened was, I had a, a, uh, one of my clients or one of my customers claim that her package did not arrive and I said okay well I apologize and I would get her a new package out as soon as possible and um, along with that I would be sending her out something else that she wanted to choose from my shop and she said that she wanted to choose uh, a Christmas book and I told her I don't have a Christmas book but what I can do is I can work on a challenge for you for Christmas that has something to involve with the 12 days of Christmas and so this is what I came up with this is my 12 weeks till Christmas Christmas challenge and as you can see, they're all of the Lords of Leaping ladies dancing. It has the open number here. You can put tens or you can put whatever amount you want in it. And there are 12 of these. So there's six cards. And on one side, you start at the beginning. And on the other side, 
it goes up to 12 so they're consecutive and that is the challenge that I came up with it all this challenge here with just the card with the 12 slots on it I am going to put this in my Kofi shop and this will be available for, for as a freebie so if that is something you would like that will eventually be in my Kofi shop I'm sorry I don't know if it'll be a freebie it may be like a dollar but I am going to um, put this in my Kofi shop just this one challenge here where it's 1 through 6 and then 7 through 12 and they'll be available for a download so I'm always thinking so I'm always thinking but again get that emergency fund because you never know what's going to happen and y'all pray for me at this dentist today because this is ridiculous my tooth is killing me but like I say at the end of all my videos guess what I see you seeing me feeling better when I see you holla